let's say you find yourself in this situation where a three-way switch has been disconnected. So no reason to panic. Uh, all you need to do is identify the wire that connects to the common terminal of the switch, which is this black screw here. And the terminal is marked right there. It says common. In most cases, uh, the common is gonna be one of these two black wires. Now you can look inside the junction box and see which two of the wires, one red one and one of the black ones are together in one um, bundle. Those two are your travelers and the other one's gonna be your common. But if you can't identify it that way, the next thing to do is have power turned on and take a tester and see which one of the black wires is a live wire. So this is our live wire. This is gonna be our common terminal. Now, if you try both of these black wires and neither one is live, that tells you that you're at the three-way switch where one of the black wires is going into uh, the lamp, then you have to go to the other three-way switch. So one three-way switch always is gonna have a live wire and that live wire connects to the common terminal of the switch. So again, here's the case. We test this one, nothing. Test this one, it's live. So we know this wire here is our wire that connects up to our common terminal. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna connect this to our common terminal of our switch. Then we're gonna go to the second switch and identify which one of the black wires there needs to be connected to the common terminal. And I'll show you how to do that. So first let's connect this one. We're gonna turn power off, connect our switch. Then we'll go to the second switch. So we have connected our hot side, which is our line to the common terminal. And the other two are, are uh, travelers, so they can connect to either of the two terminals. So one on this side and one on the other side. Okay, so this switch is connected now. Now we go to the second switch to identify which wire connects to the common side of the second switch. Here we are looking at the connections for the second switch. Same thing here, we need to determine which one of these two black wires needs to connect to our common terminal. Now, this is uh, gonna be opposite of what we were looking for at the other end. In this case, we, with the power on, we're looking for the black wire that is dead. It doesn't have any voltage because that's the wire that's gonna go to our lamp. Uh, so the common side on this side, it will connect to the lamp. The common side for the other switch connects to the line. So let's test and see which one of these two black wires is gonna be a wire that is dead. And that's the wire that's gonna connect to our common side. Here we go. Well, it's not this one. So there it is right there. So that's gonna be our common connection. So again, these two are travelers. They could connect up to either of the two um, connections. One would be on this side here, and then the other one is on this side here. And then the black wire, this one here, that we identified as our common, that's gonna connect to our common terminal, which has the black screw. So we'll go ahead and connect those up and test our light. Okay, we have our second switch connected and there is the black wire that we identified as our common. That's the one that's going to our load, to our lamp in this case. And it's connected to the 
screw that is marked common, the black screw here, and the other two wires are our travelers. It really doesn't matter which one you connect um, where, uh, as long as they're connected to the two terminals that uh, are on the main body. So, and then this is our ground. And in this case, the ground is not connected. In most cases, the ground is not connected. However, if you do find an opportunity to connect the ground, and if there's a ground wire in the um, junction box, you can go ahead and do that. We're back at the second switch. So here's another way that you can determine which one of these two black wires is the wire that's gonna to connect to the common terminal of the switch. With the power turned off, using a wire nut, short the red wire to one of the black wires and see if that will turn on the light. So you may have to go to the other switch and flip the switch to see if that will turn on the light. If it doesn't, then turn the power off, connect the red wire to the other black wire and see if that will turn the light on. So whichever black wire turns the light on, that's the black wire that needs to connect to the common terminal of the switch, which means that's the black wire that's going to our load, to our lamp. So that's another way to determine which black wire is the common wire terminal.